Welcome to day three, the source and goal of desire. The energy of attraction comes from your authentic self, that part of you that longs for more than just possessions or temporary pleasures. How can you tell whether what you really, really want, what you're craving, is flowing from your true self? Well, you'll know you've hit your sweet spot when your desires are more about being than doing or getting. When you allow your soul, your inner purpose to be your guide, you put your life on a new trajectory. One of the most powerful ideas I've ever heard came from Gary Zukov in The Seat of the Soul. He says, when the personality comes to serve the energy of the soul, that is authentic power. That definition of power changed everything for me. What it really means is finding a way to use your personality to serve what your soul actually came here to do. If you want to live with the greatest purpose, passion, and contentment, your desires have to line up with who your true self really is, your soul self. When you are connected to that energy, that is when you are unstoppable. It is the energy that works together with you to co-create the life you want. You already have everything you need to begin manifesting the life you want. It all begins and ends with you lining up with the source of all things. So join Deepak now in connecting and reconnecting with that sense of awareness. The energy of attraction is part of who you are. But which part? The answer lies deep in your awareness, where your true self lies. Your true self is more powerful than any aspect of who you are, because it links a desire with the ability to manifest the desire. We've all experienced the difference between a shallow and a deep desire. Wanting to catch the latest hit movie isn't the same as wanting to be a good person. Wanting a better car isn't the same as wanting to find lasting happiness. The secret of the true self is that the deeper your desire the easier it is to manifest it. This is because the entire circle of desire is inside you. The dream begins in the same place where the dream comes true. When your desire is frustrated, the circle is broken. This can happen for many reasons, from bad timing and wishful thinking to hardships and obstacles in your current circumstances. By meditating, you draw closer to your true self. And when you fully identify with it, you will fully experience the circle of desire. It will eliminate obstacles effortlessly. Yet, even taking the first steps toward your true self will increase the energy of attraction in your life. Every other means of fulfilling desire is more difficult 
because you find yourself running out into the world, struggling to make things happen, as you chase after the goal because it is separate from you. At the level of the true self, no outcome is separate from you. You are the source and the goal in one. Realize that the energy of attraction is intelligent. It's different from other kinds of energy, like electricity or magnetism. The energy of attraction organizes the whole path from desire to fulfillment. Just as nature fills a seed with everything it needs to grow, your true self fills your desires with what they need to manifest. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Curving back onto my own nature, I create again and again. This is an expression of how desire remains in the self even when outer reality is involved in bringing you what you want. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. My true self contains every possibility. My true self contains every possibility. Now let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra Ananta Swa Bhava. This mantra awakens your truth to the infinite potentiality of your higher self. As you repeat the mantra, know and feel the unbounded possibilities you hold within your own consciousness. Repeat it silently to yourself. Ananta Swa Bhava With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit Open and receive just a little more. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and when it's time to end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell. Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Just mentally Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava Ananta Swa Bhava, Ananta Swa Bhava. 